Okay, today we're going to tie the spruce fly. This is a great fly for sea run cutthroat and resonant trout. Uh, some things to pay attention to in proportions are in the body the ratio of red floss to peacock. Literature will say um, anywhere from a quarter to half the length, body length in red floss. I think a quarter is too small. I would go anywhere from a third to a half in red floss. Uh, the wing length literature also talks about twice the length of the hook. I think that's a little too long, although it provides more action in the wing, but it also increases the chance of short strikes. So I like more of a, about a one and a half times the length of the hook for, uh, for the wing. Now I tie this on a straight eye. Uh, you can also tie it on a down eye. Uh, this is a 3x long and you could tie it on uh, 4x long, 5x long, uh, but I like these uh, proportions right here. All right, so let's get going. I'm using a Daiichi 1750 hook, size 10, and you can tie this up to um, an 8 or maybe even a 6. I probably wouldn't go much larger than an 8. And you can tie it down to this to probably a 12. A 14 would be a little difficult. Um, I think anywhere from an 8 to a 12 are great sizes. Uh, for the tail, we're using Peacock Sword, a few strands of that. For the rib, we've got some brassy size gold wire. For the floss, half of the body, it's uh, I'm using three strands of this uh, red floss. And then we have regular peacock for the body and then for the wings and hackle it's a badger hackle kind of a honey colored badger hackle all right let's get a hook in the vise and we'll start our thread back here about a third of the way Just get a little thread base going. Stop there about between the hook point and the barb. And we'll take, uh, we'll get about maybe half a dozen or so of this peacock sword. And I kind of like to try to keep them somewhat together and tie them so that they're all pointing up, like so. And the length is, oh, one to one and a half of the hook gape. It doesn't need to be a really long tail. So if we make kind of a loose wrap and then pull straight up on it, it'll pull them up on top of that hook, like so. All right, and because we're doing a floss body, we want to we want to try to keep this underbody as smooth as we can. So we'll just wrap forward and that'll become our underbody. Cut this off at somewhat of an angle. Then we can tie in our gold rib. And wrap back. And wrap forward again. And now we'll tie in we'll tie in our floss. And again, wrap this back so we maintain a smooth underbody. And we'll hold our thread here so that we can wrap the floss against it to keep the strands together. Alright, wrap this body forward. We want to try to keep it as smooth as we can.
and I'll come back and I'm just going to build up a little bit of a taper smooth everything out and remove all this excess now we'll tie in our peacock so I've got three strands I'm going to just cut off the brittle ends here tie this in capture it right here and again we'll go back and something to think about if when you're watching your proportions um, if you think you've brought your your floss up too far you, it's fine to just come back here farther with your peacock uh, to keep the proportions where you want them so we can just come back here and wrap on top of the peak on top of the floss and then go forward Now what I'm doing here is ensuring that I leave enough room for my wings and hackle uh, and I also don't want to have a really abrupt edge on the peacock because I don't want the wings to be um, against something too abrupt so that they just stand straight up. I want them to lay back nicely along, along the back of the body. And we'll rib, we'll make one full complete turn, and then we'll start ribbing forward. helicopter this off now we're going to choose our wing and we will want a, a feather from both sides uh, one from each side of the of the neck so we'll pick those out okay once we pick them out we want to put them shiny side to shiny side so they splay out like this all right, and then we will hold them against here to get our length, which I think that is just about right, right in there. So from there, I will pull back the fuzzy stuff. All the stuff that I don't want on here. about right and then we will take them and make sure they're matched up and we'll tie them in over the front of the eye it's a little uh, different than you see in most ties but um, we're going to do this in a way that really adds to the durability so just check when you fold them back we're about the right length like so and we can cut these stems wrap right back over them and then pull the, fit the wings back and tie them down so it gives us a nice splay and great durability because the stems are folded back on one another so as a fish grab that and eat it they won't pull out so now that we have the wings in we go for the hackle now the hackle we pulled the wings from the sides the hackle we want to pull somewhere from in here and we want to pick a feather that's going to be that probably twice the gape of the hook so that as we after we wrap it it is um, it just touches the point here. 
So this one I've chosen, I think, uh, I think looks good. It's got some nice webby stuff in it, so it'll be good for a wet fly. So let's pull off the stuff down here that we don't want. Okay, we want our feather to, we want the fibers to fold back this way. So the dull side will go towards me or towards the back of the fly, or the fly. So we'll come over the top here a couple times. We'll go to the front. And then we'll go to the other side a couple times. And then we'll fold this forward. And wrap. And that will increase the durability. And I will attach aqua pliers right up here at the top. We're going to go four or five wraps. Working forward, sweep things back as we wrap. And we'll pull it all back and make some wraps and build our head up. And then we can whip finish. All right, I have a little straight fiber that we'll just cut. Drop the head cement. And if you notice that some of that head cement went into the eye, so you take a piece of this feather that you cut off right here, run it right through the eye. cleans all that out. Yeah, and there we have nice splayed wings, spruce fly, great fish catcher right there. <laughs>